What's going on guys? Welcome to another invention video. So today I have an interesting one for you. We're actually going to show the augmenting and how that will all work and whatnot. So um, if we go to invent, uh, there are, is one new reward, I believe. Well, not really, but I'll show you the shop again. Haven't finished the prices, but I did finish the first price. So there you go. <laughs> 100 mil for the first one. Uh, the dissolver, I think, was the only thing added. And there is now Crest Transmute, which, you know, is pretty self explanatory. Basically, you can take one Crest piece, use some components with it, and create a different Crest piece. So that's cool. And there's a version for, uh, if you haven't seen, there's a version for Barrels Atoms, Bludgeoned, and then Totem as well. This shop uh, did get some. Newer things and updated prices, so if you want to see what everything's going to cost in here, nothing too crazy. Uh, <laughs> all of those that say free, trust me, they're going to get way worse. Uh, so what has been done, um, I, there's only one component left that I have to do, which is the Uber, which is like the best component. That's like with, with all the good items, like Dragon Claws, um, you know, DFS would qual qualifies that. Like tons of, tons of the good items, Code I Wand. So yeah, uh, but everything else is done. So if we use this uh, device on Rune Full Home, you see we have some generic components. The amount of components you get is random. So as you can see, there's just a bunch of random ass numbers. Uh, we have some clue stuff in here. This gives us lucky components. Oh, did we just get one? <laughs> that is possible. Uh, so then you can see. And then uh, this garden pie is the first thing that I that I mentioned was finished. Um, you would use the organic components. So let's just go home real quick. Now I haven't finished rates or anything, so this won't actually work. I'm still wor you know working on perfecting the rates and whatnot. But uh, buy yourself some seeds. Now I do have a list of all the things that will give components, and uh, I'm gonna release that on their day of release. Uh, in my last video, I did poll whether you guys whether or not you guys want to know all the information, and that is winning, but only by um, like let me let me load it up. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, there's only uh, 28 votes total, and tell us everything is winning by or, you know by however the difference between that percentage. <laughs> so I decided I'm not going to give you exactly everything, but I'm definitely going to tell you more than I originally was going to. So as you saw, there's there's um, that's how the, those compound. Just just disregard because <laughs> whatever whatever I just said. Uh, so these are. Um, there's seven components total. You've already seen the components because they were in the Invention Starter Pack. Um, and then you've seen the rewards, so you kind of know what goes with what. Uh, so with the organic one, you would buy your device, buy or go, you know, chop trees down or whatnot. I'll show you the first. I mean, the first component is pretty simple. It's called organic. Um, you can get it from herbs, logs, ores, raw fish. And again, on release, I will have a full list of the things you can uh, disassemble. You can't use it on everything, like if I try to use it on, well that actually should work, yeah, generic. Uh, if I try to use it on that, nothing happens, nothing happens, lucky components. So uh, there is a list of items and I'll release that then, but you would get these components. Um, I haven't determined exact rates, I'm thinking you would need about 5k. So as of right now, it is not looking like we're getting enough to make a garden pie, but you'd get the 5k. And then you would use the 5k on a summer pie, which was found in the assistant shop. And if you examine a uh, schematic, it'll tell you what is needed. So summer pie and however many organic components you would need. So you already know this. This is pretty much the uh, you know what I talked about in the last episode. I just want to show you that it is sort of sort of starting to work now. Uh, the only one left, and that's the Uber, which should be the most enjoyable. So there is that. Uh, you will need 80 cooking to do the summer pie. Uh, use the, you know, buy a summer pie, use the organic components on it to make a garden pie. So you will need 80 cooking. Get that if you don't already have it. Some people were kind of, you know, they had negative reaction to that. It's not a big deal. Just get 80 cooking. Um, and then if you're wondering, the next schematic is overload, which, uh, did I show you this? It essentially does everything. Uh, yeah, so for that, you'll need 99 Herbore. So, you don't necessarily need 99 Herbore, but you absolutely need 80 cooking to start an invention. And then, I don't know if this one will have a requirement. Probably not. Amethyst will have 
Uh, basically, this is tier 70 armor, or ammo rather, and you'll be able to make amethyst bolts and amethyst arrows. You will get the amethyst randomly through mining. So there is some skills incorporated. People are wondering about that. So with RuneScape 3, the way that they do invention is they release everything in uh, batches, and that's kind of what we're going to do. So this is batch 1. The skill will re be released, every all the basics and whatnot. And we're going to sort of take all the best ideas and uh, work on some extra things and then release all those in batch 2. So batch 2, from what we have so far, you're going to be able to augment armor. In this update, there is only one non-weapon, and I'll talk about that in a bit. We want to augment shields, uh, necklaces, your rings. Wouldn't it be awesome to have an augmented luck of the pugs or something along those lines? So yeah, that'll come in batch 2. And then we're also going to have augmented pickaxe and axe and possibly dragon harpoon, the fishy version. So uh, it should be pretty interesting, but for this one, we're just going to stick to weapons. We're going to keep it basic just to sort of see what we like and what we don't like about the skill and whatnot. So that's it for how you'd really start it. You'd need 80 cooking. You'd come down here, you type in invent, come to shop, buy a device, and you can already start giving, no, getting uh, components. Now the skill isn't here yet. In the next episode, that should be added, and I should be able to show you how you would train it and everything. Um, but you do get experience from making the pie or any other item that you, you know, other, any other item from any other schematic. And then once you're 80, you can make augmenters. Uh, right here, augmenter, siphon, and then the dissolver. So let me hop on Dark's account and I'll show you what these all do. All right, so if you're familiar with Invention on RuneScape 3, then you sort of know what we're doing with this. We didn't really change this aspect too much. So one of the main appeals to Invention is it's kind of like a bossing skill. You get to upgrade your weapons, make, you know, better ones, augmented and whatnot. Um, and then you basically just kill monsters and you gain experience. Uh, so that's a, that's kind of why I like it. It's just, it's like a nice, it's a, it like does a lot of help for the economy, gives new, you know, gives items better purposes. And then it, um, you know, you can upgrade your gear. So the items that you can upgrade, rapier, abyssal tentacle, crystal bow, twisted bow, kodai wand, elder maul, abyssal whip, master wand. And then you can also upgrade your infernal cape, but I believe we're still working on that, so I don't have much to show from that. But the weapons are, you know, as mentioned, we'll be testing with the rapier. Some people were wondering if this is going to be like insanely overpowered, because if you know anything about the rapier already, it's super good. Uh, yeah, there, it's upgraded, but it's not like it's, like, insanely upgraded where it's, like, uh, ooh, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. Ooh, getting ahead of myself. But, uh, yeah, it's not, like, crazy OP where it's going to be broken. It'll be, um, a couple changes here and there. I don't want to get into too much of those specifics because, honestly, we haven't coded them. If Once I, uh, once I augment it, you'll see it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even have stats or animations or anything like that, so... I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'll probably save that for the next episode. So if you're not familiar with how it works, so you would have those three schematics. And you don't need all three items, but I'll explain what they all do. At the very least, you need the augmenter. That's how, what you get started. So uh, you would, you, you'd make the augmenter. You can check the schematic. And then use it on your rapier. It'll give you this little thing. Uh, if you augment this item, it'll become untradeable. Yes, yeah, so now you have the augmented version. You can tell because of the big old A right there. And then it also have improved stats and whatnot. So, as you see, there is a check XP option. This does not work at the moment, but what it would do is tell you how much experience you have in the thing. You can see this little chat message right here. Um, and then if you look, it's not even going to have any animations. It still punches and whatnot. But, as you can see, as you do damage, I believe it's 1k per... Uh, 1k experience per hit. Now, don't get confused. This isn't your invention experience. This is the weapons experience. That aspect of invention is kind of confusing. It's going to take a little bit to, like, learn it. But it's not that bad. Just kind of, you know, <laughs> just, you know... Don't uh, panic. So, and that amount of. <laughs> that just. That just. Fucking blew my mind right there. <laughs> that. That right there just blew my fucking mind. I know exactly why he's doing it. Don't worry. I'm glad I noticed that because otherwise we would have released an invention with that shit in there. But. Yeah, so you would train your weapon, you kill bosses, whatever you want to do. And uh, when you have your weapon fully charged, I believe we're capping it at 10. So it, it, once you get at 10, it, it doesn't go anymore. And uh, let me just kill this piece of shit. So once your weapon is at 10, you have two options. So it's not there yet, but you will be able to disassemble it, uh, which will give you full experience. 
Um, exact experience rates haven't been worked out yet, so I'll talk about that later. But you'd get full experience, or if you want to keep the weapon, because obviously you don't want to just disassemble a rapier, you can use a siphon on it, and that will give you half of the experience. So, uh, if you really wanted to, like, sort of do it the cheapest way possible, you're better off doing either the crystal bow, the abyssal whip, or the master wand. That way you can just dis disassemble it and get full experience. But, keep in mind the lower tier of the item, the lower, the lower experience you get. So, it could end up being better to just use your rapier, kill bosses, and then siphon for half. Whatever you choose. And then the last item is the dissolver. So, if you don't want your augmented weapon anymore because this version is untradeable. You can uh, use this dissolver on it and it will remove all the experience and will deaugment it, which will turn it into a normal rapier if you want to sell it again. So, those three things I mentioned are going to require Uber components. Uber components are going to be the ones that, like, those are like the big ones, you know, from Dragon Claw, Zelda Maul, and all that crap. So, you do, um, you do need those. It's not going to be insane amounts, but you, you are going to need a couple. And you, if you want all three, you will uh, need to make them. And this is for every time you level it up. So once you get it to 10, it's not going to just give you 99 invention. It, it's going to you know give you a set amount of experience and whatnot. So that's cool. That's how it's going to work. If you have any suggestions, anything at all you want to add, let us know. We are going to set an official release date. We are going to release invention on the 10th of November. So that is in six days. We're going to be releasing at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. In terms of the server, it would be 1 p.m. <laughs> so... Yeah, the server's not too far off. I totally forgot that the server was PS2, but yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. We still got a fair bit to do, but we should be able to do it uh, successfully in that time, and we should be able to spend the last couple days testing because that's one thing we got to do is make sure everything is working correctly. I know there haven't been a lot of updates on the server. And I know we've fallen behind. We, I told people we would release this at the end of the month, and we're already into the new month. I just want to apologize for that and say thank you to everybody who's been patient with us. I know there hasn't been any crazy good updates for a while. Um, that's not something we like to do. We like to have like two, you know, like a two, two, at least at least two big updates every month. And I think we did a pretty good job at like sticking with that. If you look at our past update history, it's really just been this month, and the main reason for it is invention. Invention is going to be so big. A lot of dev time went into it, and a lot of dev time still going into it. So should be fun. Should be epic. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. It's a custom skill, sort of a custom skill, on an old school private server, I, th I think it can be a lot of fun.